Hello, and welcome to the Golden Guides Project. My name is Christopher, and I'll be the English instructor for these videos. Diane will be the instructor for the French version of these videos. This project is designed to get seniors more familiar and more comfortable with their computer, tablet, cell phone, or other internet device. This is part five of a seven part series. You will get the most benefit out of this series if you watch the videos in order. Please check the description below to find links to the other videos in this series. In this lesson, we'll look at using the different parts of a computer. We'll look at using the mouse, the keyboard, and navigating the desktop. So let's take a look at using the mouse. Placing your right hand on the mouse, your pointer finger should rest on the left click button and your middle finger should rest on the right click button. In this position, you should be able to easily and freely move the mouse around. If you have arthritis or find that your wrist gets sore while using the mouse, you can get a mouse pad with a wrist rest, such as this one, to help alleviate the pain. So now you know how to properly hold and use the mouse. Next, let's look at the keyboard. The proper way to rest your hands on the keyboard is with your pointer fingers on the F and J keys. Many keyboards will have a line or bump on these keys so you can quickly and easily remember where to put your hands. In this position, your fingers should be able to reach all of the other keys without having to move your hand around at all. Let's look at some of the keys you're likely to use while using a computer. The long key at the bottom of the keyboard is the spacebar. Like the name implies, the spacebar's main function is to add a space while you are writing. On both sides of the keyboard, you'll find the shift keys. You'll notice that several keys, such as the number keys, have a second symbol on them. The shift keys allow you to shift between the two symbols, as well as shift between uppercase and lowercase letters. Above the right shift key, you'll find the enter slash return key. This key will add a new line while typing, allowing you to create paragraphs. It is also often used for activation and submission when trying to do certain things on your computer. For example, pressing the enter return key while a dialog box is open will select the highlighted response. Above the enter slash return key is the backspace slash delete key. Like the name implies, it allows you to delete text that you have typed. You can either tap it and delete one letter or space at a time, or you can hold it down for a while in order to delete larger sections all at once. In the top left corner of the keyboard is the escape key. It allows you to escape or exit out of certain programs or windows. In the bottom right corner of the keyboard are the movement keys. These keys consist of arrows facing up, down, left, and right. They allow you to move your text input around a text document. They also allow you to scroll and navigate on web pages, as well as select options or move your character in a game. Running along the top of the keyboard are the function keys. These keys allow you to perform different functions depending on the keyboard. On Apple keyboards, these keys allow you to do things like change the brightness of the screen, lower or raise the volume, and play and pause music. The last two keys to keep in mind are the control and alt slash option keys. These keys are used to perform certain functions within the computer. However, in a day-to-day -day computer use, you will most likely not need to use them. Some keyboards may also have a numeric pad. The numeric pad is located to the right of the keyboard and consists of the numbers and keys that you would typically find on a calculator. The numeric pad is typically used when you need to quickly and easily input numbers into the computer. For example, when filling out a tax form or doing calculations. So now you know the basics of using a keyboard. You know what the spacebar, shift, enter slash return, backspace slash delete, escape, movement, function, control, and alt slash option keys are for. In our next section, we'll look at navigating the desktop.